daughter and your daughter is blessed. Plexiglass is still beating hot holes. Of course, I'm kidding. I'm pretty sure my dad's still alive. The point is, don't be like him. Don't, don't miss the boat. Come on, sell your product on our channel. And listen, in six months, if you still don't like us, we call it quits and no hard feel. Of course, it makes sense. I know it is. Great, and there's stockholders won't regret it. It's bulletproof. Fire! Over at QVC. Okay, let me see, let me see. What's the gimmick? Give me the thing. He works for all four seasons. Yeah. This one is summer. Yeah. Autumn. Spring. Look like kids did this. Winter. Oh, look at that. Uh -huh. We call it the Four Seasons Pad. It's educational. Educational? Yes, yeah, it's That's four not seasons. Get me to buy them. Tim George wants 100000 that gets me about him. Okay, come up with a name other than the Four Seasons Pad. That's a right. sanitary napkin, right? I don't know what, but then call me later and we'll work out the deal. Okay, so, good. Um, can we work out the deal now in case you're not? Um, okay. I mean, I know McBabridge starts today. What, it's like I'm getting fired? No, no, no. 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 I do a shot. Uh, okay, oh, no. hey, leave some here and we'll we'll get, what's his name, the dog from Frazier. Eddie, Eddie. sell Eddie. someone Eddie. a show tonight. Great. Tonight. Great. Call me up. Thank you. Thank you, Ray. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. <gasps> Ladies, how many lovely ladies can there be? Hey, Fresca. How's my favorite foot model? Gray. You look so beautiful. Let me see that foot. What are we selling? Blue toe rings. <gasps> give, me, give me the shoe. Take the shoe. Take that. Oh, look at the... Oh, oh, this makes me happy. Look at the toes. Like candies, like red hot. So singular. Excuse me. Hello. Want to know your emotions? Maybe some other time. I know how I'm feeling today. Oh, wait a minute. I don't know. Hang on. Wait. Wait a second. I can't jump to a conclusion like that. Let me, let me do this. Let me do this. Mm-hmm. Your pulse is a little fast. Let me guess. You're feeling lost. I'd like you could use some help. Could I pitch in? Oh, that's funny. I was going to say the same thing about you. What? I'm lost? No, that you need some help. <laughs> well, I may need a little help with your name. I, I've never seen you here before. I'm sure I'd remember. Um, you're definitely not one of the models. Oh, thank you. That's always nice to hear. Oh, no, no. Of course, I met you very... Late. My name is Ricky, by the way. What's your whole name again? I didn't give it to you. <laughs> Lay it on me. Hey. What do we got? Hey. Tell me everything. James Brown's doing a show. Hi, everybody. I'm Clarence Reynolds. Here with a guy. 
godfather of soul, James Brown. Welcome to GBSN. Welcome back. Ow, I feel good this morning. Good to have you with us. It's a group of being bad with you. Now, you brought the soul survival system. The only way out. It's like a personal security system. Now, how does it work? Just in case, God forbid, there is a medical emergency. Okay, if you fall down, mm -hmm. and you mess the panic button. Help me, help me, good God! 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 Help me, help me, good Okay, now this is all we've sold. Did you know where it's around? Yep. Ricky. Yep, Ricky. Jack Spencer on the phone for you? No, oh, it's all we're busy. He says it's important. Here it comes. Thank you. Jack, hi, what a nice surprise, huh? What? What's your name? Well, <laughs> Yeah. Well, uh, well, that is that's an outrage. The bank said everything was fine. These these bastard people with their computer screw ups. I'm gonna call them right up and really straighten this out. Thank you. Bye. Oh, I need to move some money from my savings to checking the car payment balance. And don't tell me there's nothing left to transfer. If I told you last time, is that what you want to tell me? Is that what that means? Sell some stock. I'm going to have to get the new guy to like me so much, he's going to want to give me the raise right away. You think that's overly optimistic? 30 seconds there! You are the best! Yeah! You're so much the best! Now go in there! I'm 67 years old. I've made love twice today. Why? Because I'm wearing new Clam by Bonte. Clam is the mysterious new fragrance from the sea. Clam works. It can be yours for just $22.72. Danny's been fastened to the studio ceiling using the patented coupon no heat glue gun. I wouldn't trust any other glue gun with my grandson's life, should you? Uh -uh. But you know, based on everything I've just said, I think you can see it's pretty obvious that a raise is kind of, uh, uh kind of, kind of in order. Based on what you just said, I think it's pretty obvious that a brain scan is in order. Hey man, things are not clicking for you here. Your sales have been flat for 27 months. Mm -hmm. no, well, I mean, that depends on how you define flat. Stagnant. No growth. Dead. Oh, flat, flat. Well, uh, you know, fair enough, but I'm sure you agree that the product this year is... It's been... not what you sell. It's the selling itself. It's about making people feel they have to have it when they don't really want it. Amen. I'm giving you two weeks to get things moving on your history. Wait a second. First of all, two weeks. You gotta give me a little more time than that. What anybody gave Hold it now. Hold it right there. Yep. yep. Right there. Every day on my way to work, I pass a dozen guys carrying signs. Homeless family will work for food. Pathetic vet. God bless. <laughs> Something I can do about them. ACLU says they have a perfect right to stand there. So fine, let them stand there. But here, in my office, in my own goddamn office, I don't have to live with anybody begging me for anything. You got it? Thanks for listening. My door.
is always open. Well, told you there was a meeting in the three of the dot. An hour late, there's a reason. Fifteen minutes, slate shows contempt, disorganization, laziness. I had to kill the entire marketing department. It took a little longer than I expected. Hi, I'm Kate Newell. Of course you are. This is Ricky Heyman. Oh, I've been reading all about you. Oh, yeah? 27 months of flatness. Boy, that's some sort of record. Kate is a media analyst. She went to an Ivy League school and learned all sorts of fancy ways to sell things. I wanted to work closely with you for the next two weeks and see if you can get sales up 8%. 8%? Yeah, well, why did I shoot for 8%? Sit down, tell them the problems. Okay, there are two problems. One, the network has no identity. If you put all of the shopping channels together, there's no way you can tell them apart. I know that if we can create a clear, dynamic identity, along with better sales techniques, we will quickly pull ahead of our competitors and easily reach our growth target. Identity and sales techniques. We have a meeting in an hour with Scott Hawks from New Vision to come up with a more complete plan. Well, good. Well, good. Vision uh, is, is certainly good. And uh, New Vision, wow. Newer? <laughs> Charlene also very, called very and said that uh, she was a business call. Oh, um, no, but uh, Tim George is sitting in the bankers' office for Later. Later. What's happening? Hang on. Blowout? When's the giant meteor just gonna take me out? Huh? I, I can't. I'm in a dead spot. Uh, yes, I know. Hey, look at this. Ideal. Ideal. Here, pop the trunk and we'll change it.
communist government. What, roadside assistance? I don't think so. What? Such a, it's such a, it's such a treat. Take care. <laughs> Would you mind if I ask what G stands for? Just G with a period. That's it. That's my name, G. Oh, like that. Yes. Okay. Uh, excuse my appearance. I know I'm a little sticky here. When you walk down the road looking like this, sometimes people throw things at you. You wouldn't happen to have a wet wipe, would you? Oh. Actually, I do. <laughs> I love a woman that carries wet wipes. Premium moist towelettes, my favorite. I carry them everywhere. You do? I thought you'd need to be prepared. Perfectly prepared. Probably drove your last boyfriend crazy. You know what he didn't understand is that deep down inside you never really feel prepared. That's why you're always over prepared. Oh my God, how did you know that? Oh, uh, because he sees all and knows all. That was a good run. So, uh, thank you so much, and good luck to you. Sorry I couldn't be of more help to you. No, oh. no, you were wonderful. wonderful. And it was so nice meeting you. Oh, same here, Kate. Wonderful. Yeah. Pleasure yeah. was all mine. Nice meeting you, too, Robert. My Richard. pleasure. May we give you a lift? Oh, no, I have to get back to my pilgrimage. You sure? You, you are the pilgrim. <laughs> <laughs> I really like you. I like you too. Yes. Kate. It was so nice to meet you. It's very special. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks again. Bye bye. Bye bye. Yeah, watch out watch for the cars there. Careful. Oh. <laughs> Let's, um, let's get him into the car. Okay. Uh, unless, here. wait a minute, wait a minute. Maybe he shouldn't be moved. And, and, uh, you know, we just drive to a call box, oh. send somebody. Oh, what? what? God. What? Oh. That's 
not disgusting. I'm thinking things out. Let's get into the car. Okay, okay. I'll, I'll get. This is exactly why you don't wave. This is exactly why you don't wave. Oh, it's my fault. Oh, let's not argue about it. Come on. Oh. How would you like to take care of payment? Payment? Uh, we just uh, brought him in. I don't know. Well, neither do I. Here, I'll take care of it. Please don't. Please don't. Oh, no, no. I'm bucks up, I guess. Fun yeah. stuff for everybody. I am Dr. Kate Newell. Oh, the doctor. Good, good. Kate Newell? G is suffering from heat exhaustion, but more seriously has some arrhythmia, an irregular heartbeat, which may or may not be chronic. I think we should keep him overnight and monitor him. Overnight. What do you think about this one? It might be congenital. My or own. due to My some own. traumatic event, a shock to the system. We'd like to run a few more tests to be sure. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Appreciate all your time. Thank you, Doctor. Don't go crazy on those tests. Just keep us for now. Thank you so much. What? No, I heard you. Yeah, I might have been responsible. I feel terrible, but I think he's in good hands here, don't you? Don't you feel good about this place? He seems so strong. I think he's going to be fine. Uh, and, you know, out of every negative comes some good. Like what? Uh, well, I think this tragedy has brought us closer together. Oh, please. Right. No, this is going to make a great story for our kids. Uh, and, and if the first one's a girl, I think we should name her Z. You know, Annie, I was sitting home alone one day, and all of a sudden, I was just thinking, balls. Balls? Yes. And that is when I came up with the concept for the laundry solution cleaning ball. That's ingenious. Balls that clean. Yes. And you know my Carl, he is a homicide detective. Miami's finest. Oh, well, we like to think so. <laughs> and you could imagine the stains that he comes home with. You see, you have your blood, mm -hmm. you have your grass, you have your sweat. Uh -huh. your vomit. Oh, yes, absolutely. That's your vomit. I don't see any lipstick. Well, these gals have something, don't they? Uh, you, you know, I don't, I don't see a thing, thing wrong with these ladies. That's our, who, who better than these bouncy, homegrown? Hi. What the deal? Look. Did you yeah. Feeling the sales from last night's stuff. Tell me. Eddie the dog couldn't move the grass mats. Maybe saw ten. No. He's phoning it in. I'm gonna talk to his trainer. Control. Hey, what are you doing tomorrow night? Because I'm having a bunch of potential distributors over for cocktails at my place, including Nino Ciruti, uh, who's starting his new ready-to-wear line, which I would love to get here on Goodbye. So it would be so great if you could pop over. Yeah, uh, hold on. I'm sorry, I have plans. Ricky. Okay. Ricky. There's a consonant here to see you. What? A visitor? A bit. Huh. No kidding. Yeah, uh, he doesn't know anything about it. It's just that if you were there, you know, it shows horror. You already let him in. Team or spirit. And I think that it win him over. I think you would. Strictly business? Kate. This is me. I'll try. Toss it in the washer. That's all. 
This. Do you see a face here? Do you see a face? Oh, you see a face? Look! It's the baby Jesus! No, that's not Jesus. That's no. Merv Griffin. What? Look, upside down, you see? Look oh. at it. Okay, listen up, Jim. Uh, you got camera three. Get a tight shot of the side. Cut to camera three on Ricky's word. See, look at, look, I'm making, I'm making a look at you. See, and he's looking at, <laughs> he's looking at me. He's looking at, <laughs> he's looking at me. Now, Sam, when I give the word, cut to camera three and then go right to the teaser for Peppertown. Three, get ready. Peppertown teaser, Peppertown teaser on his ready. It's amazing, one person's cherry stain is another person's talk show. Now, go. It's all around us, we just have to look for it, you know? Good. Good, good, good. Get him out of here, get him out of here. Okay, we're out. Hey, look at me. We're gonna have a talk. All right, let's go. Let's have a talk. Sorry, ladies, we're off. Uh, hang with us. And you know, don't, don't, everybody's saying balls way too much. Don't say balls, don't say blue balls. We're selling laundry solution. Okay? That, that, that's what to say. You're way, way too in love with balls. Aren't you? That's, that's all I feel like I'm hearing. Balls, 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 balls. I'm right, I'm right there. We'll be back on soon. I thought it was Jesus. <laughs> it was Merv. I, I thought it looked like Carl Malden. Thanks, guys. Sure. Uh, Thank you, Cedric. Thank you, Ted. On you go. Thank That's you, it. Cedric and Ted. Thank you for bringing me to Rapid Ricky. Okay. What a wonderful place you had here. It's Gee? exhilarating. I can feel your energy in this room. Yeah, sir. Bad hey, idea. hey, Bad hey. Idea. What are you doing? Bad ideas. No, no, no. Listen. This place. Listen. Hey, what's yeah, happening? I can feel, I can feel the excitement in this place. Gee? Yes. What are you doing? What happened? I'd like to give you the benefit of the doubt here. You're obviously from out of town and Jeez. real unfamiliar. Oh, Look who's up and around. Kate, how are you? So good to see you know something. Let me tell you. I don't know if it's you that make this dress look incredible or vice versa, but either way, it's a winning combination. Oh, thank you. But what were you doing? You can't just jump on TV like that. I'm sorry. I had a stain. Yeah, did McB see that? No, I don't think so. Okay, well, maybe he doesn't have to hear about it because, okay, because, you know, after all, if certain people hadn't waved to certain people, that's, I think, as well-intentioned and, you know, kind of dopey as it was. I think we see now that it was very misguided. We'll talk about the whole thing. Listen, we're right in the middle of our day here. Did you come for a reason? Oh, yes, I did. I came because yeah. the hospital just released me and they informed me that she paid my doctor's bill. Yeah. And I just wanted to come down and thank you personally, Robert Ricky. Ricky, just call me Ricky. You're shortening your name just like me. Wait till you get to just R. The time you'll save for hours on your life, trust me. Anyway, I just wanted to tell you thank you so much. And if there's anything that I can do to repay you, just let me know. Ah, I gotcha, I gotcha. You know what? You know what would make me the happiest? What's that? Knowing that you yes. were back on your way, searching, healing, following that golden, golden path of yours, and may God, or whatever it is you believe, <laughs> smile upon your journey. There's a door right Wait at the bottom of the stairs. You know Wait the one? Wait a minute. What did Dr. Simon say? Well, the doctor told me I should stay out in the sun for a couple of weeks, and then I should come back and see him, have another checkup, and if everything right. panned out, and I can resume my pilgrimage. Where will you stay? Well, during the day, I can 
stay in a shopping mall or something, and at night it's really not that bad. Shopping malls are great down here. That's good. No! That's not right. You wouldn't be stuck here if it weren't for us. Okay, okay, um, here. Here's, um, two, here's... $180, find oh, yourself a motel, no. rest up, and consider <laughs> us even Steve. Yeah, absolutely not. It's in no way I can accept money. I'm sorry, but I don't want to you. offend. You're very grateful. Why don't you come stay at my place? What? What? I mean it. I couldn't let you stay out in this heat. What if something happened to you? I'd never forgive myself. Oh, I don't know. I, I don't think I you can't do that. It's a religious thing, Kate. You'll never understand. No, believe me. It would be much worse for me knowing that you were out in the streets. Fair condition. Great pool. Really? Uh-huh. I can't cook, but I order a mean takeout. Oh, man. Well, I know how to eat some mean takeout, too. <laughs> <laughs> and if you spill anything, you know who's got the wet wipes for it. <laughs> or the stain bowl. That'll be fun if you have a slumber party. <laughs> oh, dance. Yeah, Where are our jammies? So, oh, oh, great. I wish I had my camera. You have goes. Your ah, this is so sweet. But, Kate, I cannot in good conscience let you stay with you. This is my... Fault. No, I've thought about it. It's my responsibility. Gee, please stay with me. I'd like you to stay in my house. Do you have a pool? <laughs> Sheets for the bed? Oh, no, no, thank you. That won't be necessary. I don't sleep on mattresses. You know, mattresses are inhabited by flesh eating mice that, that live up in dead skin that flakes off your body while you're sleeping. I don't want to go through that. I like the floor, it's nice and comfortable and firm. You might want to try it sometime. No, no, thank you. I'll, I'll stick with the old skin eating mice pad. If you want to be a buffet, you go right ahead. I'm sure the mites will enjoy. They're having nervous Ricky flakes tonight. <laughs> Abundanza, mites. Pleasant good morning to you, Ricky. Good morning. Uh, I don't want to hear about any beauty of life, okay? It's too early. Can you be grumpy in a beautiful setting like this? Look at this beautiful place. I'm talking about Mr. G, because it's, uh, it's all hanging by a thread. It's a whole Haman empire. And I'm that close to joining you on the street. Sorry, I travel alone. <laughs> Great. Even you won't hire me. Uh, OJ? 
Oh, I threw the orange juice out. It was smelling. It had a little smell to it. Why don't you try this? It's, I made it fresh. It's delicious. Mm. Very pleasant. Very refreshing. Try it. <laughs> and don't drink it too fast. You can very slowly and take it in. Mm. Yes. You like that? It's not bad. It's Red right now, it's delicious. Right. What do you taste in that? Mm. There's a peach. Yes. Peaches. Stuff. Yes. And what else? I don't know. I don't know. My urine is in it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like you're mine. It's like you're mine. No, no, no. It's like you're mine. It's not my urine. I kid you. It's a joke. I just. It's, it's herbal tea. I know you like jokes. I want to start the day off with a funny joke. <laughs> Trust me, my urine doesn't have that tasty zing to it. I know. Let's go out here and, and look at the sunlight and stand in the sun. I don't want to stay in this apartment all day. You can see all the way down the beach from here, you know. Let's go out here. Come down here. Come down. Don't tell me somebody else for my job? No, no, no! Larry King doesn't interview this many people, really! Did you take the facts I sent you, the new image suggestions? Yeah, it's done. What'd you think? I, I thought they were great ideas. Just great? Uh, the amazing? Uh, inspired? Erotic? Don't. Night. What else? Anything else? Also the bank calls. Uh, car guy or mortgage guy? Please don't say mortgage guy. Hi. Hey. Hi, Barry. Miss Gill? There it is. Good morning. How's G? Oh, I, uh, he's in the car. I left him there. I cracked the window. Uh, <laughs> no, he's at, he's at home. He's fine. Don't you want to know how I am? Judging from McBee's reaction to your new facts, you're in rare form. Really? What do you mean, he liked it? <laughs> no. He liked it. Of course he liked it. You know why? You know why? I'm a born game on the line, five seconds, go-to guy. Pressure is my mistress. What do you say? What do you say? He said they were hilarious. Hilarious. He was weeping in there this morning, and it takes a lot to make him laugh. Yeah, I know, I know. He seems a little down. He says he can't wait to see your real ones. Right. You know, it was really smart of you to get him in a good mood. It may make it easier for him to take last night's numbers down 2%. Grass mats were a catastrophe. We sold one. <laughs> you, I'm I will see you later. Okay, see you later. Interrupting. Um, I say, could we, could, uh, could we have a little chat for a second? Oh, yes. Um, you may have noticed some increased activity in the apartment. Yes, I did notice all the flowers. I think it's beautiful. Right. That's because I'm having a little get together here tonight. Oh. 
wonderful. I know. It's a business function. Oh. Now, uh, I'm not going to lock you in here because, well, frankly, I think it's illegal. But um, as a favor to me, uh, the guy who uh, paid your medical expenses and is giving you shelter, would you please stay in the room? I'll be right here, Ricky. Great. It's quite an outfit you have on there, Ricky. Huh? Quite an outfit you have on there. Thank you. Bye. That's too much? Personally, I would, um... I would lose the pocket, the pocket thing. Oh, the, the hanky? The hanky, yes. I like the hanky. It's just traditional, uh... <laughs> I don't like it. <laughs> okay. Uh, so, so, uh... Before we start, you want anything? Uh, you know, there's frozen stuff. Pizza or whatever, and you've got a jar of that delicious... Urinate in the fridge. Oh. I'm fine. I have everything that I need. Thank you. Thank you. Have fun. Thank you. You too. channels, but our demographics are just the best in the business. I saw ads on laundry balls. I should put my program next to a laundry ball ad when I'm entirely working on beauty. How can I be close to that kind of stand? It's too wild. Absolutely. Right? Yeah, yeah. Can I introduce you to a beautiful person? I'll be right, I'll be right back. Excuse me one second. Thank you so you're welcome. Look just gorgeous. As good as a footlong. <laughs> Better. Ricky, this is Scott Hawks. Trust me, this woman is the most elegant toes I've ever seen. That's fine, Scott. Uh, can I take you right over to see Nino? Que cosa? Yes, he's a jerk. No, we're not together, and trust me, he's the best at what he does. When did you see your toes? When did you introduce me? Uh, Signore, you know, Charuti, Kate Noon. It's so nice to meet you. Enchanted. How was your flight? Fine, great. Great, are you having a good time here? Wonderful. Well, hopefully we'll be able to show you around. Yes, yes, like to. Kate, Kate will miss you. I'll be back in a flash. Um, Nino? Kate? Whatever your name is. Excuse me one second. Uh, can you take over, please? Oh, excuse me. Hello. Oh, gee, gee. What are you doing? Back. Back. Oh, I had to go stinky. Go oh, stinky. Oh, you're, you're actually like a guru, like an Indian fakir. You control your bodily functions. Try that. Try that. Look, it's so lovely, but it's so somber here. Why don't you let the people enjoy some of your things? About this. Oh, let them enjoy some of your things. I'm sure a little music will liven this place up considerably. Hello. I'm sure the music will lighten this whole place up. What did you want? It's wonderful to see you too. Look at this woman. Every time I see you, I feel like I've chosen the wrong path. Oh, She's spectacular. Thank you. Who's your friend, Rich? Oh, I'm G. How are you? G. Scott Hawks, Hawkwind Productions. Hello. This is uh, this is uh, G. My my yoga instructor. Uh, you know, I, sometimes I find that a good um, Kundalini thing, Nino, opens up my whole life. 
Uh, you know, high five. I meditate too. Do you really? That's good. Yeah, I'm trying to overcome my fear of flying for the moment with little desire. Oh, no, I, did you ever try a halcyon and a double Cuba Libra? I'm serious, just boom. Not sure I have. You know, I could cure that fear of flying of yours without alcohol or drugs. Oh. But if you don't want to die, do, do, do you? Aren't you back at the ashtray? Misha, uh, what, what's the name of the, the cho uh, chakra convention? Do, do something, really. I'm interested. Oh, oh really? No, no. Well, you know, there are two things that you can do. The first thing is, the next time you're in an airplane, and you start to feel fearful, you reach down and you grab your testicles. Testicles, <laughs> interesting. And then you pop them together. Okay, we're going to go now. And the fear leaves. There must be another method, and probably less bad. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> well, the other method is, I can hypnotize you right now. Never ever have a fear of flying again. Yeah, maybe later. Can we can we do that later, Nino? Have you tried the um oh the squid pomodoro? Wait, oh, wait, no, wait, 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 wait. I think you'll like it. Are you, you, you a no? no that I, would, I, I did not. Wait, that wait, I would wait, like. I'm interested. I'm interested. I'm curious. The man's curious. Let's have a seat, Nino. Curiosity is a wonderful thing. Curiosity it killed some, somebody. Put your hands, palms down on your knees, and just relax. Sit straight up, not in the fucking fighter. I got a zip up. You just got hooks. Okay. Perfect. <laughs> everybody gather around. Hi, everybody. My name is G. Hi, Hi. Hi. I'm going to be hypnotizing Dino. He's having a problem here with uh, fear of flying. I'm going to try to get him over that fear. I'm going to hypnotize you know and try to help him out here kind of like a party trick i want you to just relax and just watch this flame yes just watch the flame just relax your eyes are getting very heavy now I'm getting tired and I'm lost in the flame Going to sleep. You're completely asleep right now, Nina. Nina wants to sleep. Shh. Sleep now. Nina, your left hand feels very, very light. It's going to start to raise up. Very slowly. It's starting to float up. It's always floating up. Just let it hang there, right there, you know. Let's see. This is a party, you know. Maybe I should give him the bark like a dog. Oh, so cute. <laughs> Get it over, I'll get it. Okay. <laughs> Put your arm back down there. Put it back. Back down. The plane's taking off. You're a little nervous like you always are when the plane takes off. This time when it takes off, it's smoother than it's ever taken off. You didn't even feel the plane leave the ground that time. You're up in the sky and it's smooth sailing. Great. Almost out of bed. Looks like a storm cloud. It is a storm cloud. You can see the pilot's trying to avoid it. He can't. It's too late. A female bird. Right in the middle of the storm cloud. You to feel turbulence. The plane is shaking. You feel it start to dip and sway. So much turbulence. How can this tiny metal object stay up in the sky of mass destruction, you know? He getting scared. The steward has just passed out at your knees, you know? You felt the plane drop a thousand feet in elevation. You felt your stomach shoot right up into your neck. 
captain's voice comes over the intercom. Attention, this is your captain speaking. This is your captain speaking. God help us! We're gonna crash! Oh my god! <laughs> trick called the disappearing Rolex trick that's <laughs> quite a party <laughs> Cool. Do it. Can I borrow your Rolex? No, 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 no. Come we, on, Scott. Are you kidding me? Oh, no, no. Oh, good good. 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 Okay. I'm gonna need a handkerchief as well. Does anyone have a handkerchief? Oh, oh you no. Know. Thank you. And we need a hammer. Wait, what? A, a hammer? Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. Yeah, you want my uh, set of paper shoes? Oh, that'll work perfect. Oh, the Ricky shoe. What size is that? Oh, this is a uh, 12. Oh, that <laughs> get the job done. <laughs> okay, I want you to see that I'm taking the, the watch and I'm placing it right in the middle of the handkerchief, everyone. See the watch going into the handkerchief. Closing the watch up in the handkerchief. Right. You see that? You want to touch it? It's in there, right? Yeah. Okay. Here we go. We place the watch on the table. We take Robert Ricky's trusted size 12 and. <laughs> Yeah, I know. It's seriously, that's a ten thousand dollar watch. I am serious. <laughs> the disappearing Rolex trick. It's not the reappearing Rolex trick. <laughs> Good night, everybody. Yo, <laughs> Gandhi, give me back that goddamn.
Absolutely. He asked us to watch his PJs for him. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I, I, you know, I'm sorry. I don't, uh, I don't see him. Ah! Ricky! Go to water with me! Oh, I'd love to, really, but, but somebody has to pay the rent. Oh, come on, Ricky, one swim, then go sell things on television. Yeah, well, that's that's kind of what I wanted to talk to you about. Can I just have have a word for, for a second, G? What's the matter? Just, just, problem? No, no, no problem. I just wanted to put a little, little bee in your bonnet for a second. Uh, oh, no, 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 no. Okay, I see. Hello, no, no, no. Free Willy. I see. Oh, no, 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 just... just very funny. Listen, the Nino Ceruti, you know, from the from the party, his lawyer called this morning and said that they're interested in a deal with us and that he had a great flight back to Milan and, in fact, he's buying a jet. Oh, that's wonderful. To make him happy. Yes. You have such a, a special quality. I, I now realize that, that between you and me, we could uh, make a difference with the world in a very unique way. So here's my idea. Listen, G, 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 here's the thing. What if you went on my network and talked to people and made them feel good? You want me to sell things for you on television? Yeah, well, uh, you'd, be, you'd be telling people on the air about how material things can refresh the spirit. Isn't that your idea? Unless they use replace more important things, which they usually are. Wow. Wow, I just got chills. I just got chills. Amen. You have an important message for the world. And listen, what better way to get it across than on TV? You could help thousands, millions of people feel better about themselves, gee. Wow! What do you think? How about you? Will it make you feel better? Me? I don't know. That's not the point. I feel... Me, I oh, feel no. great. I... No, yes! That's exactly the point. Will it, will it make you feel better? I'm gonna lose my job if I don't do something soon, so... Yeah. Yeah, it could really help me. That's that's the truth, like that. What do you think? Okay. I'll do it. But only one condition. Really? What? One condition. Okay. It's non negotiable. What? <laughs>
What's the plan? It's not traffic. It's not a... No, it's TV. Doc! 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 say that? He just did. Now my one special friend is listening. I think I have your attention now. Stay with him. Stay with him. Uh, he, he, he just said penis. God, why did he say penis? I don't know. There's gotta be a reason. Howard Stern says penis all the time. What's wrong with that? Uh, it's and he's huge. Well, it's shocking. That's which is good. <laughs> it's good. I have a question for you. Why? Good question. Why are we here? Is it to lie in bed alone and call up the TV station so you can buy more things? So you can collect as many things as possible in your little finger snap of time you have on this planet. That's why we're here. That's our credo, I think. He's talking, he's looking at the balls. Is that why we're here? He weaves a magical web of charisma. Mm-hmm. I guess that's a good way to go. How about this? Whoa, where's he going? He's gone. Where'd he go? Oh, He's going on the door. Door. Oh, Hi. I'm here to tell all of you wonderful home viewers about new InstaTuck, the non surgical do it yourself facial toner. Oh. You hook your face up to this car battery? Uh, well, we don't call it a car battery. It's okay. He's okay. Don Morgan said. It's okay. What? Why? It's okay. She's a pro. The InstaTuck power source fits right on your nightstand. You know, this looks a lot like a battery. What well, it does, but uh, no, 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 don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. I'm tired. <laughs> yeah. No, no, yeah. I'm not pretty. <laughs> She loves improv. You know that about her. She, she wasn't she before the series. She was a member of the Groundlings or, or Lemmings. All you have to do is just attach the Insta Clips to the key lift points on your scalp. Key lift points on yes. your scalp. Uh-huh, right here. He's and engaging her. Look at him. Look at him. He's like a child. He's like a child. And not even aware of the camera. That's what I love. You just let the little electronic energy pulsers do all the work for you while you sleep. So you go from... Grandma to grandmama and one easy push of the button. She's never been so alive. She's she's, she's never been so alive. Oh See? <laughs> So the look of surprise is the youthful look. Well, hopefully, yes. So the mm. years just melt away with InstaTuck. <laughs> oh, that's fascinating. Now see the uh the more control you look at? And may I Ooh, dance? don't don't hand your life over to him. I think this would be fantastic for a surprise birthday party. Surprise parties, you could say, Surprise! <laughs> <laughs> it's your birthday! It's kind of funny, guys. <laughs> well, you look so youthful, a surprise. You know what else this would be good for? Madam, I think you just won the one million dollar lottery! Oh my god, that's not funny. He's electrocuting Morgan Fairchild. Oh, even better still, the Martians have landed and they're taking you back to Mars with them! 
What we have here, ladies and gentlemen, is a beautiful woman who's trying to convince you that you're not enough. Oh my God, he's leaving me. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, let her go, let her go, man, let her go. You don't need instant touch to be beautiful. You're already beautiful. Did he say this woman is already? Don't buy it. Don't buy this product. That's that's interesting. That's an interesting way to sell. All you have to do to be beautiful is just be yourself. This woman's already beautiful. She doesn't need instant touch. Even. I'm sorry. <laughs> this beautiful woman here, you don't need instant tuck. Oh, interesting angle. Uh huh. You know, this is personal. I know what's happening here. No, he knows I'm trying to sell stuff, and this is a personal attack. He's undermining me. He's sabotaging me. I made a deal with him. I explained it to him. I went in the water with him. I have a question for you. If you could be the Dalai Lama or beautiful Baywatch Babe, which would you choose? Baywatch Babe. Oh, now think about it. I know that Baywatch Beauty is so desirable, and she has the perfect body, and she runs up and down the beach with a beautiful bikini on. That's a really hot girl, the Baywatch Beauty, right? But the Dalai Lama has total inner peace and spiritual enlightenment. There's no comparison. Don't you agree? <laughs> she agrees. Here. <laughs> Many things. I could go back to school, I guess. Down the sides on this one, folks. This is the saw you want, boys. Bucking, pruning, trimming. Now, the hotel <laughs> restaurant <laughs> business always held a real allure for me. I'm a people person. What? Hi. Hi. Uh, so, uh, give us a call, and I'll carve you a great no. deal. Nice chainsaw. Who are you? Oh, I'm new here. I'm a friend of Ricky Heyman's. Hi, Ricky. Just curious Incoming. about James. Mayday, Mayday. This is a disaster. This is a massacre. You've got to be kidding. Can I hold it? It's a dandy. Can I have the, the weight in my hand? Uh, Feel the weight of that chainsaw? Wow. It's a heavy one. Be careful. Oh, yes. He's, He's staying at my home, and this is his He gave him the chainsaw. No, this is going to be this is not good. I have a question. If I said to you, you could watch me sculpt the Venus de Milo with my hands or chainsaw this entire studio, what do you think their call in vote would be for creation or destruction? You guys call in now. Call. He's hitting every single uh, set. He's I cutting it. It's a clean sweep. He's making a clean swan from one side of the studio to the other. And I know just what they want. Oh no, you've got to be kidding. He's chainsawing our happy time redwood picnic table. <laughs> Now I admit that was fun, but I ask you, why do we yawn at creation and thrill at destruction? Why? Okay. Okay. Ask yourself why. Here it is. Here's his agenda. Let me tell you, I've been watching for a long, long time, and I don't like what I see. I really don't. Everybody's anxious and scared. Everybody's working all the time, but what do you really gain? And our kids, our kids play with computer pets because they've learned from us to trust machines more than they do people. We acquire, we consume, and we waste. He's barking mad. Oh, He's a lone nut. Lies. And that's not how it was supposed to be. I promise you that was not the Plan. And I think it's time some things change around here. Don't you? What the hell is going on here? TV history? Okay, cut him, cut him. Night, Ricky. Here you go.
Would you guys excuse us, please? I need to talk to Ricky alone. Okay, guys. Barry, just for a moment, please. What were you thinking? I don't know. Well, ever since you guys showed up, all I do is go backwards. You know, it seems like no matter what I've done, you get offended or, you know, I uh, make him mad. And... I mean, I didn't. I don't want to lose this job. I like working here. I, I, uh, I like selling. I'm good at it, I think. My dad was a salesman. On the road, you know, ever heard motors? Yeah, outboard motors. He did the whole uh, Lake Erie region, both sides of the border. Wow, I drove with him. For a couple of, couple of summers, man, this caprice he had, it was like his home. The uh, stick shift, he would make his place for rubber bands. He'd keep all his rubber bands on the stick shift. And then he had his notes all organized with paper clips in a very particular way. And red licorice, boxes of red licorice. We had a good time for a while. What happened? Oh, bad luck. I guess nobody water skis on a dead lake. So, you know, we try it anyway, but, uh, you know, you start to push and get sweaty and I can smell it. This is so weird. What? I'm starting to think of you as a real person. Well, yeah. Sure, uh, this whole broken, pathetic husk thing is just, you know, I know it's very appealing. <laughs> Well, if you got it, want it. I'll see you tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> but if I may say it, but yeah, through, baby, get lost. Be fine, fine. What happened? Oh, he was very gracious. No legal action. And he gave me a full 15 minutes to leave the premises. Come on, move. He's flying to DC. We can still catch him in the parking lot. Who is? The boss. No, okay, it's over. Not when he sees these. Come on. Put that down. These are the numbers from G's show. Caller volume spiked the second he came on. So what? They were probably calling to get that nutcase off the air. He reached them. <laughs> they liked him. They wanted to buy something. They just didn't know what. John, this is a 30% jump. Major audience connection with the spokesperson. Ricky was right. What the hell are you saying? We give this maniac another chance? Huh? Which many of would that be? I thought about this all night. G shook them up. He's dangerous, but he represents an honesty that people are longing for. Totally, and he represents a spirituality. Spirituality and a hope shopping network. I'm sorry, did I say spirituality? I think I mean 
Uh, unconventionality. Unique, heartfelt lies. <laughs> Survey after survey shows that after people buy, they feel guilty. Even if they can afford it, they feel it was wrong to buy something for themselves. Why not put somebody on the air who makes them feel good about themselves for a change? Absolutely. And listen, let me just work with the guy and let me just focus his message. I think, we think that G could give us that unique image that you're looking for. Give me the deadest hour of the day, 2 a.m. <laughs> All right. <laughs> but I, I kid you not, if I'm embarrassed in any way, shape, or form, it is going to be both your asses. <sighs> My ass entirely. My ass too, sir. Well. <laughs> Excuses. I'm a hungry one, too. But what is it you really want? It is, it is. Oh, no, the, the whole thing. Give me the network. Let me run with it. I'll give you a redesign that'll double sales inside of 18 months. What about Kate? And Damon? Smart. She wants to stay on and work for me, fine. Heyman can call in and buy things. Just like everybody else. I can't believe we're doing this again. Okay. A nice deep breath. That's good. What do you think? One minute. Are you with the program? You with us? Are you with us? Oh, yeah. Okay, okay. Now, remember, well, well, let's go over this one more time. Here's the teleprompter. And when the red light goes on, you're on. Start reading. Okay. Remember, hold the product up. 50 seconds. We're fine. Okay, we're going to be in the booth. You're natural. I love show business. Show business loves you. Show business. Show it's a business. It's a show business. Camera one up. Camera two standing by. Camera two standing by. Audio up. Audio and count it off. Round five, four, three. Oh, please. Speak. Mr. Mum, Mr. Hush, I can't believe it. Hello. Okay. Hold it up. Wonderful new product we have here. It's called the Starfish Pendant. He's holding it up. It's good. It's made, it's made out of two carat gold, wonderful two carat gold, which makes it very charming because it's so very light. It's easy to wear, and kids love it. It looks great at parties. And the Starfish Pendant. Oh, keep reading, keep reading. I have something better for you than a necklace. Oh, no. <laughs> Just brought back a memory. Uh, something that happened to me when I was a little boy. Memories are good. It was a storm. And thousands and thousands of starfish were washed up on the shore. It was only four days well, ago. You, you, you hold waved them all. Hold on. And there was this beautiful little girl who was running down the beach and she was picking up the starfish. She was frantically throwing them back into the ocean. When I saw her doing this, I said to her, why are you doing that? You can only save a few before they die. What difference does it make? And she looked at me and she said, to that one, it makes a difference. To 
that one, it makes a difference that little girl said. And she was right, and at that very moment, she was making a difference for that starfish, and she was making a difference for herself, too, because she was connected to that starfish. And that's what life is all about, connecting. In fact, that's the only time you're ever alive, really, is when you're connected. Kind of a nice story. That's sweet. That's sweet. Thank you for tuning in. And remember, let go, give in, and take the journey. Oh, wait. One other thing. I work here with my friend Ricky Hayman. Where did he get the Where did he get that picture? Oh, he asked. Oh, okay, sir. What? Did he just, what? I, I didn't. Ricky doesn't like himself because he doesn't think he's a good person because he can't see all these good qualities. So, can you come in close? And Sam, and frame off the picture. <laughs> oh, this is Sam. Sam. I didn't, I didn't know he was. Oh, don't go in close. Don't. 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 Go in close. Oh, no, don't go in close. Yeah, go in close. Face. Sam, it's too late. This is true. <laughs> oh, this is everybody's joke? Yes. I see. Ha, ha, ha. It's funny day. Hey. Cheesy. There's two things you can do for me for my friend Ricky Amy. If you run into this man anywhere, if you see him anywhere, one thing is go up to him and tell him something nice about himself to build up his confidence. Compliment his dress or his hairstyle or something. You look great today, Rick. Something, you know, that's reassuring to him because he has very, very low, low self-image. This I is the lowest life. moment of my life. And the second thing is you can you, hug him. No, no, this is the lowest moment of my life. If you see this man, give him a hug. He really, really wants to be hugged and he's not used to no. it. He really needs it, so. No, no, no. <laughs> I just wanted to tell you, I think you're really, really tall. <laughs> Thank you for the national humiliation. Wait, 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 look at this. Humiliated today, hero tomorrow. Hey, take a look at this. Look at the numbers. Are those the actual numbers? Those are the actual numbers. These are the pendants? He did it. Look at that. My friends, do you have food that goes to waste? Have you ever thought about using your drive time to cook a meal for your family? Do you feel the need to store your vegetables and lunch meats forever? We say wet it again with Foggy. It's the hood buddy, the air filter that uses the heat of your gas-guzzling engine to cook fabulous meals while you drive. Little squirt. It's a festive fountain that gives your fanny a kiss of refreshing mist. But look what we did with Foggy! We made banana mush. Mmm, soot gives it a unique, unrivaled, rich, hearty, robust aroma. Why would you dry these bananas out in the first place? Then I have two words for you, G. Suck it! Little squirt. This is probably the nastiest product on the entire network. 10 4, hood buddy. Yummy. Today is the first day for the rest of your life. But let's face it the seat warmers that you're sitting on are getting more out of life than you are. Yes, they are. And if I were you, and I am you, if I were you, what I would do. I would embrace each and every new day like you was a long lost lover and squeeze all the life juice I possibly could. The juicer, the juicer, Sam, get a shot of the juicer. Juicer, the juicer, yes, okay, juicer. put it here with my shot on the kitchen table. Kitchen Aid 795. Kitchen Aid juicer, 7995. Go, go, go. Get off.
Correct me if I'm wrong, sir. <laughs> I don't want to put words in your mouth. You felt to me as if we had a deal. Well, you felt wrong. I said if Heyman screwed up, you were in. He didn't. This G-goop of his is the biggest thing to hit home shopping since the cubic zirconia. That doesn't beat your Sherlock Holmes brain cells. But the man has no history, no social security number, no driver's license, voter's registration, birth certificate, nothing. G, you don't even have a name, crying out loud. You don't find that curious? Yes, I do. I just don't find you the real name. There is a definite Talmudic wisdom to G's philosophy. Is clearly a student of the Quran, figures prominently in G's aphorisms. And I'm sure he will tell you he's a student of the New Testament. G's essential religious foundation so clearly echoes the teachings of Jesus Christ that I wonder if he might not have spent some time in the seminary himself. Now, don't change anything. I want to keep it simple. What? What did I tell you? Every market. Right! Every market! Let's run it everywhere! Full pay! I don't care how much it costs. Save you stuff in the time. What? A week. Let's run it for a week, see what happens. Oh, man. Thank you. Hi, Becky. Dad. Nice to see to talk to you. Hi, hey! 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 hey. The, uh, we're, we're glad to get you. Listen, we're, we're just, uh, sitting around here. It's, uh, I know it's the last night, and we were, we were... Wondering if I wanted to go out for a drink? Exactly right. The, um, I, I don't know what you have to taste for, but... How I, about the bread wire? I love the bread It's, um, what you have? Can you pick me up in half an hour? We will see you in one half an hour. Great. Scott was, um... What? 
Gee, what's up? Somebody came forward, some woman. She says G's her husband. Says he has a whole family, six kids in Chicago. Just walked out. Oh, Abandoned. I don't believe that. Well, she's holding a press conference in an hour. Hey, it's time for this charade to end. This man, G, had already hurt me and my kids. And well, when I saw this, I knew I couldn't let him hurt any other innocent people. Well, this was just lovely. Scott, get us out of this. Okay, people, here's the bitter truth. The only way we're gonna get out of this in one piece is to face it. So, I'm sorry, but Ricky, okay, you're gonna have to resign. Gee, he hasn't said if she's telling the truth. Gee, do you know this woman? <laughs> yes, that's Grace from Chicago. She's holding the Iris, and that's Michael and Lloyd with her. Excuse me a second. Where are you going? Going to say hello. What? Gee, why did you marry Grace, father six children, and then just run off in the middle of the night? You, you know what you did? You left. Well, that's, that's true, I did leave. Why did you lie to America? Who trusted yeah. you? How yeah. many other families have you destroyed? What is the truth here? Are they are the Wait 
for the money. Gee, she's a saint. He's not my husband or their dad. I wish he stayed with us a few winters ago as a friend. He helped us. I am so sorry. You know, I just... That man, I called him and I told him that I knew G. What's she talking about? He offered me money, five grand, five thousand dollars to get up here and say a few words, to get up here and lie. He paid me to lie about G. Now I'm sorry, I may be poor, but there's your bad man right there. There he is. Skyhawks. But uh, it certainly is not Tanya. It was what it was, and uh, uh, let's all continue. Excited about laser discs. Great. Look up the numbers. Get ready to type. No. 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 Can't you see? This. This doesn't mean anything. My clothes don't mean anything. This stuff is so anti. Anything. Everything. You know what's really important? I'll show you. Come on. Oh, here we go. Fasten your seatbelts. Come with me. Come with me. <laughs> Let me show you.
75 years. That's how much time you get if you're lucky. 75 years, 75 winters, 75 springtimes, 75 summers, and 75 autumns. When you look at it like that, it's not a lot of time, is it? Don't waste them. Get your head out of the rat race and forget about the superficial things that preoccupy your existence and get back to what's important now. Right now, this very second. And I'm not saying drop everything and let the world come to a grinding halt. I'm saying that you can become a seeker. You can be loving more. You can be taking some chances. You can be living more. You can be spending more time with your family. You can be getting in touch with the part of you that lives instead of fears, the part of you that loves instead of hates, the part of you that recognizes the humanity in all of us. And I tell you, that's where your fortune is. Oh, where it is. He was a momentary bobble. We're back to that. Careful, Brutus. Don't fall down. I want you to see something. Something very, very important. Okay, right here. Fill the screen up with this, this grass here for me, Brutus. That's the answer right there. That's what it's all about right there. Mary. Great. Oh, 
Just the best macaroni and cheese dinner I, I think I ever had. Craft in the box is, of course, the classic, but you have My a thing. touch. met him. He was so happy in that smile. And now he just seems drained. Well, like us, you know, it's all the work. Right. Yeah. It is all the work. And now that he's caught on, it'll only get worse. It started so simply, and now it's become this whole big production. It's the Heyman and Newell Circus with the oh G-Chants and the orchestras and the announcers. And They're fun, huh? Oh, Pitch. today, yeah. at the station, they were pitching me things that go way beyond the G-T-shirts. They have got this cheese spread named after him called... She was. What? Oh, Is that terrible? You know about this? I helped come up with it. Oh, I thought it was fun. Vicky, what? what about that um wrapping ribbon called the the G string? <laughs> Look, I mean, who are we hurting anyway? You know, the people who are getting this amazing message. I don't think so. You know, and certainly are we hurting G? You know, instead of getting stuff. Tossed at him on some lonely highway, he's reaching America. He's reaching the country. Who's losing out? It's all good. Yes, but we are making money off of that. But image. no, but so does every religion that sells a crucifix or a star of David or a stick of incense is making money. And you know, everything that we sell, people are buying, I think, because they feel closer to G. And if they wear a G t shirt, uh, people think, well, you know, what's what he's all about, what he's talking about, and they become better people. Don't you think so? I think so. The difference is, G would do this for free. I think we should let him go. He's not chained in my basement you now. He's free to free man, but what are you talking about? It's the right thing to do. I've decided to take G prime time. I 
Gonna give him his own half-hour show. What's the matter? Surely you don't think this is a bad idea? No, no. He has the broadest appeal of any on-air personality we've ever had. Yeah, that's right, that's right. But, uh, and I love the idea of a new G show. I was thinking the same thing. This is so funny. That's why I wanted to talk to you. Listen to this. I think it's a great idea. What if uh, we, we start a show, whatever time slot, with G and other hosts? Wait a minute, an ensemble show where G doesn't have to, uh, you know, carry the whole thing. We could even phase him out at some Are point. Are you That's nuts? No. He's the guy they're interested in. I don't understand your hesitation. Oh, wait a second. Yeah. Wait, I know. Yeah. I know, and I understand. Yeah. You're upset because I promised I'd take care of you if this took off, and I haven't yet. Oh. But if you launch this, and if you make it work, then everything you've wanted, everything that you have ever dreamed about will be yours. An office next to mine. A view of the studio. A car. The perks. The bonuses. Everything will be yours. And Kate? To hell with Kate. Do you want to produce the show? Or don't you? Look, as far as I'm concerned, uh, Kate is indispensable. We couldn't have gotten here without Kate. And uh, my deal would have to be in place. Because that's right. You said uh, the last show... I also that... said to get G signed up. And have you done that, Mr. On the Ball? Yeah, he's been here. I don't see any paper. Oh, well, that, that's just a matter of signing. Why? He doesn't have a pen? You get him signed up. And then we'll talk your deal. Whether you're a lover of jazz, gospel, classic, or rock, you'll be able to select the kind of sound that is going to fit whatever So if it's going to go on the show, if it's going to go in a Bothering you? How could you ever bother me? I love talking to you. That's what I wanted to do, talk with you. Ricky and I were thinking. Excuse me one second. Hello? Yes, Dr. Simon. <laughs> so tell me, how long before I can continue my journey? How can it be chronic? Uh, how can it be chronic? Well, it's it's chronic because. Yeah, it's it's chronic because of the decrease that we registered in your. I'm sorry, I've got a little, I got a little, little phlegm there, and, uh, <coughs> yeah, the, uh, the, the decrease that we registered in your, and, 
dolphins. Endorphins! That's, I'm sorry, I, I, I couldn't read my own writing, you know, doctor's handwriting, yes. Uh, uh, that number was sufficiently... Low, low, so as to, as to demonstrate that, that you have a poor heart. At this time, I'm, I'm, uh, Okay, I'm afraid, uh, that you, um, need to... Uh... Stay on the floor! Uh, uh no, I'm sorry, I, I'm sorry, I was, uh, I was giving instructions to my dog. Yeah. Uh, no, no, I'm, I'm afraid at this time that you need to, uh, stick around for, for several months, or perhaps until the end of time. Uh, just a little, little doctor joke there, G. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, I, I, I'm just calling to make sure that you're okay. Yeah. I, yeah, I, I know that you're disappointed. Now, I, I, as soon as the heat breaks, I'll, I'll call to make another appointment. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. Thanks. Bye-bye. <sighs> Did you buy that? I think so. It sounded awfully sad, though. Sign the contract. Oh my God! Kate, Kate, what, 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 what? Where are you going? Frankie, oh. how? He trusted you. I trusted you. Can't trust you. Oh please. Okay, come on. That, okay, that was your own. That was your own. Sweetie, don't don't be upset with me. I need need more time, but don't be upset now. We're now when everything's going up. Good for us. Going good? I just watched you lie to our friend. No, that was isolated. I didn't want to do it. I got to all about it. I had a meet with Mick Mad Bridge this morning. I had this idea, which I alluded to last night, about phasing him out eventually, but he said my job depends on getting to science. Oh, contract. so all's fair. Never mind what's good or right no, for anybody no, else. No, I think you'll be Trying to persuade me I'm stupid is not a good way to win the okay, argument. Okay, okay, just tell me what you want me to do to make it right. Please. Okay. Okay. No. Hey. John, I wanted to talk to you about Ricky's contract. Speaking of contracts, is it settled? Is what settled? I'm putting G on prime time. His own show. Ham is going to produce if he doesn't screw up. Oh, he won't screw up. Ricky's the go-to game on the line guy. In fact, that's what I wanted to talk to you about, John. I wanted to recommend that you renew Ricky's contract. I think the two of you make an excellent team. What the hell is that supposed to mean? You two are cut from the same cloth. Anything for a buck. Destroying G. Hold it a second. If I recall, you're the one who talked me into using G with your 30% rise in calls. Well, I was wrong. I wish I never had. Well, if you don't like it, fine. Now, you've said your piece, but it's not your network, it's my network. And nobody tells me how to run my network. I created you. You walk when I tell you to walk, you run when I tell you to run, and you sell what I tell you to sell. I will not sell my soul. <laughs> I just can't believe I was right about you after all. I never wanted to be wrong so much of my life.
Jamie. Contract. Yeah, it's uh, it's uh, for six months, with provisions for extending it if things are going well, and you're going to be paid uh, very uh, well, of course. But you, you you know you can put some aside for your future or or uh, give it to a charity. Is this what you want? Because if this is what you want, all you have to do is ask and I'll do it. Yeah, we just sign. You are a white shot. Camera two, you're tight on G. Camera three, you are roaming on product. Camera four, you're ready. Stand by. Are you ready? Um, come on, back it up.
Don't do this show. Leave the studio right now. Continue your journey. Yeah. yeah. Don't, you know, it's it's not you. The shows, if you do it, it's gonna be big, big. Everybody's gonna be crazy about you, but uh, just go and... You had a call two days ago from Dr. Simon. That was Barry pretending to be Dr. Simon. I put him up to it, and your heart is fine. I know my heart's fine. So is yours, Ricky. So is yours. What do you mean, you knew? Well, yes, I've known all along. <laughs> so why'd you stay? Stay because I want to help you. And because I like you, but most of all, you really make me laugh. You're a very funny man. <laughs> yeah, well, I, I've gotten, I've gotten. So, so I don't want to strangle you quite so much as I used to. But, but, uh, uh, no, really, take, take off, because you know, I mean, you know, I don't want to change my mind, you know. I, 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 Beautiful man, Ricky. I'm a dead man. All right. Philosophy, a higher state of consciousness, and non-stop shopping. Here's Data G. Camera One QG. G um, is my friend, and he's a special fella. I know, yeah, I know you guys know that. That's why you're here or why you're watching. But that's also the reason that um, uh, I couldn't let him do this tonight. So yeah, I'm I'm here to apologize to you and to our viewers because G agreed to continue doing this show if I asked him to but I had to uh, let him go because I knew that he would be happier in his heart if he continued on his journey And it wouldn't have been right of me to, to keep him here. I mean, you don't know me, but this is, for once in my life, I wanted to do the right, the right thing. I mean, he doesn't care about uh, worldwide audiences, certainly, or fame, or money, for that matter. That's me. <laughs> Get me security! I want him out of here! Now! All G cares about is for 
for us to see life as the gift that it is. Tell me, shake that son of a bitch! Okay. Sure. What would you like me to go through? Anything! Okay? Sure. Let, let me find that. Oh, my Christ. I think I'll do it myself. Something might be on the bed. Asshole! Real, real hard. Of course, I'm not G. You know, I'm, I'm just a, a regular, regular type, but um, I think I'm finally getting it that you never feel more whole and right than when you love another person. And when you know that the other person loves you back. And I had that. But I might have messed it up just, uh, just a little bit ago. Her name's Kate, and, um, she made me want to do better. To do what was right. And I didn't listen. And I'm real, real sorry that I didn't do this before. <sighs> Not that doing the right thing hasn't cost me. You know, uh, I've lost my job. Uh, yeah. The Second G was out, so was I, but, um, y you know, hey, look, look who's there. You know who that is? That's, uh, Mr. McBainbridge. Can you get a shot of Mr. McBainbridge? Turn around, Will, can you please get a shot of Mr. McBainbridge? This is my boss, or my ex-boss. No, no, no. No, no, no. Uh, no, wait a second. Wait a second. No, no, no. Don't move. Uh, uh, alone, I think. You know what he needs uh, is is for, uh, is a, a hug. If you see this guy in the street, give him a hug. Or no, better yet, give him a kiss. Give him a big kiss on the cheek. It'll help him. Should I take a call? I, I... <laughs> okay, hello. This isn't fair. I should have my own show to answer you on. This is me. Maybe QVC will give you a show. Where are you? I'm in the car, racing to get to you. I want to come see you. You lost her. Hello? Hello? Hi, hi, there you are. Where are you now? I'm so close. I'm at the studio. I'll see you at the front. I'll see you at the front door. What do I do? Now, what do we do? I don't know. What are you doing? Stay with him. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yeah. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, that's great. 
Goodbyes are so sad. Yes, some goodbyes are very sad. And other goodbyes are like hallelujah, that pajama wearing, urine sipping, floor sleeping freak has left my house for <laughs> uh, That really was our boutique, right? I don't know, Rob. <laughs> Maybe you'll come back. You know, winters are really great down here. We're going to be together whenever we think about each other. For me, I promise that'll be every night. Goodbyes are sad, especially this goodbye. I really don't want to say goodbye. Mm Robert Ricky. You're good as better. Better is blessed. <laughs>